Hi, we're back with chapter 16 of It's the First Day of School Forever. Everyone in the school hates you now, Mr. Jenks said. But you shouldn't take it personally, Artie. Mr. Jenks called me out of class as soon as the paramedics left and the ambulance carrying brick rolled away with its siren blaring. Now I sat in a little folding chair in his office while he paced back and forth behind his desk. His usual cheerful face had vanished. That smile that was always there, guess what? It wasn't there. This is the worst day of my life, I told myself. My first day in this school and every single student already hates me. That's hard to do in one day. I know it's unusual for a middle school, Jenks continued, but we take our football program very seriously. Brick is known all over the state. He was our hope for the new season. He stopped pacing. He drilled his gaze into me. And now that hope is smashed, broken, broken in several places. I lowered my eyes to the floor. I clasped my hands tightly in my lap. I didn't know what to say. I know it was an accident, Mr. Jenks said. You didn't shove Brick down a flight of stairs. Of course it was an accident. Yeah, it was, I murmured, keeping my head down. I understand you almost sent Miss McVie to the hospital too, he said. You made her fall off the desk? Also an accident, I stammered. But Artie, he continued in a soft, feathery voice, Artie, you have to ask yourself why so many accidents happen wherever you go. Yeah, I said. I didn't know what I was supposed to say. I just wanted to get out of his office. No, actually, I wanted to get out of this school and never come back. Maybe if I asked him nicely, he would throw me out of school? One more thing, Jenks said. He sat down behind his cluttered desk. He tapped the desk with both hands. He rubbed his bald head. I asked Darnell and some of his teammates to beat you up after school, the principal said. My mouth dropped open. I didn't mean to, but I made a gagging, sickly sound. You what? I finally choked out. My voice was too high even for the dogs to hear. Jenks tapped his fingers on the desk. I asked some of Brick's friends on the football team to beat you up after school, he said. But, but, I sputtered. I asked them to give you a really good pounding on behalf of Brick and everyone here at Ardemore Middle School, Jenks said. My chest felt fluttery. I had that heavy feeling in my stomach again. I jumped to my feet. But you're a school principal, I said. You can't do that. Jenks frowned at me. Artie, I have to do what I think is fair, he said. And that's the end of the chapter.